To invoke the spell check features inside of InCopy, go to the Edit menu, Spelling, and Check Spelling. You'll notice that there's a keyboard shortcut to invoke this command as well, which is Command-I or Control-I on Windows. In addition to the menu and the keyboard shortcut, you also might like to use the shortcut here in the command bar, just one-click access to Check Spelling. That'll open up the Check Spelling dialog box, and we'll give a quick tour of this dialog box before we get started. Let's start at the bottom, where we actually get to decide how much we want to search for spelling mistakes. Right now, it's set to Story. Another option would be to search from the current text cursor insertion point to the end of the story. Therefore, if you're confident that everything so far in the story is good to go, you could just check the rest of the story. You can also check spelling in the current document, or if you have several documents open, you can check spelling in all the open documents at once. I'm going to leave it on Story just to select the defaults and click Start. What happens here is that InCopy starts at the top of the story, InCopy finds the first word that it thinks is spelled incorrectly and tells me what that word is here at the top. You'll also notice that it's highlighted inside my layout. Then it makes a list of suggested corrections here in the middle of the dialog box. Now because this is a proper noun, it's probably not going to find a really good substitution. So I have a decision to make. I can either skip this word by clicking the skip button or I could click add. Now because this is a proper noun, and I'm probably going to run across this word multiple times for subsequent stories and articles, it would probably be best to click the Add button. So I'll do that now, and that word is automatically added to my user dictionary, and InCopy jumps to the next word. Now the next word here is Sculpt. Again, it's spelled incorrectly, but this isn't a proper noun. And in the list of suggested corrections, InCopy has some good options. So in this case, I accidentally added an E to the end of the word Sculpt and InCopy has some good suggested corrections for me. I can select any one of those corrections and then click the Change button, or to make things even easier, I can just double-click one of these suggested corrections to accept that change and go on to the next option. And then you can see that InCopy's found another incorrectly misspelled word, so on and so on. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and click Done now, even though I haven't completed spell checking the entire document. The reason is, is I want to show you another way to check spelling. So let me scroll this document over, and there are other ways that I think are even easier to spell check a document. Let's go back under the Edit menu to Spelling, and you can enable Dynamic Spell Check. This is very similar to what you might be familiar with from Microsoft Word. You can access it here from the Menu command. You can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Shift-Command-D on the Mac, or Shift-Control-D on Windows. And now, give it a moment, and InCopy will start to check all of the text in your story, and it will show with a red squiggly underline all of the words that it thinks are misspelled. Now in terms of customizing how this works, let's take a quick look at the application preferences where we can control how InCopy determines what's misspelled and how it highlights that for us. So let's press Command-K or Control-K on Windows to open the app preferences. Let's click the spelling category here on the left-hand side and look at all of our options. We can tell InCopy to look for misspelled words, repeated words, for example, maybe you accidentally type the, the at the beginning of a sentence, InCopy will check that, as well as looking for uncapitalized words and uncapitalized sentences that should be. In addition to the menu command and keyboard shortcut we looked at, you can also enable dynamic spelling inside of the application preferences, and you can even determine the color of each of the different kinds of spell checking options. So you can have a custom color for misspelled words, repeated words, uncapitalized words, and uncapitalized sentences. I'm going to go ahead and leave these at the defaults so that you're seeing the same thing that's on my screen, but just know that you can customize these to your heart's delight. Okay, so when you're done here, go ahead and click OK. And now let's explore one other aspect of dynamic spelling. So it's nice that InCopy can show me the words that are spelled incorrectly, but what I really need to do is fix them. So that's where dynamic spelling makes things really easy. All I have to do is hover my cursor over my misspelled words and right click or on the Mac with a one button mouse, control click, and you'll get an instant list of all of the suggested corrections from InCopy's dictionaries. So right off the bat, I can see this is the correct word. I just click OK on that and the correction is made and I'm good to go to the next word. Now in this case, the word Dumbo is actually an acronym and that I want to add that to my user dictionary. 
So again, with dynamic spelling enabled, I just right click or control click and I look at the list of options here and obviously none of them are correct, but at the bottom here, I can choose add Dumbo to user dictionary. So just like we did that in spell check, we can do that here with dynamic spelling. Then the last word here that InCopy thinks is spelled incorrectly is particular. So again, I'll right click, find a good substitution and finish the job.